Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So recently there's an upgraded version for Diffuser's library, which uh, in, like included the text to video synthesis. So today I want to uh, like do a quick uh, show about how to run it. So this time I will like not run it uh, locally. Uh, I will use uh, Google Club to do that. So in case you are not familiar with the Google Club, so Google Club is a space by Google. So it allows you to run like some machine learning, deep learning experiments on their notebook, which one of the best things is that it provides some GPU time. They are usually 16 gigabytes GPU. And uh, it also have free tier, so you you basically can can run it uh, uh, like free for some time. So, and uh, so I think that's great. You can use it. And uh, today I will, will show you how to do that. So I created uh, this uh, uh, very simple notebook. I will show you. So so once you have like open the, the notebook you will want to do is to to make sure that you select the runtime to be uh, GPU so here the menu from menu runtime change the runtime type and uh, you will need to select uh, GPU so so by default it will be none so you need to change it to GPU here. And you can save it. So after that, I think for here, you, so, so there are each uh, section is called a block, which can be either code, for example, it's a new code, and then there is a text. So here you can enter like uh, normal text. There's also uh, rich text, you can give it uh, some styling here. So, so there's the code block, which means you can run those. So for, for example here, like in once by default, uh, it already installed uh, some common deep learning libraries such as uh, TensorFlow or PTorch. So we'll do a quick uh, list of the library that's uh, by default installed here. You click uh, the little play button on the left, so it will run the cell. So, and uh, you can also open the monitoring of the hardware. So on the right panel, you can see the system RAM. We have about uh, 13 gigabytes we have some GPU RAM here, and the disk is about uh, 80 gigabytes. Okay, we as you can see here, the pip list shows that the TensorFlow is installed already, and there's a Torch. Torch version is uh, version two. The CUDA version is 11.8. Uh, uh, so uh yeah so for our purpose we will need uh, some additional libraries obviously one is the diffusers and uh, we also can make sure that uh, we want uh, the specific uh, version for diffusers point uh, 15 and uh, we can install it one good thing about the Google Club is because it's uh, located uh, within Google, so it has a very fast uh, download or upload uh, speed. So usually can get up to 90 megabytes per second. So that's is really great for lots of our stable diffusion models. Yeah, so, so as you can see now, it's installed everything here. Okay, let's uh, 
see like for for our purpose of generating videos so you will need to connect uh, the google club space with your google drive so that's uh, because uh, as i mentioned here so because the the generated video cannot be played directly here so you will need to mount your google drive so you press and it will ask you to connect to google drive you connect follow the instruction so it's totally safe that you are operating within google so you will allow all the access and also make sure that you create a new folder within your google drive called a stable diffusion videos so that will be used for later all right we see that it's already mounted and uh, for here you will need want to do is uh, to give a name so i will call it a demo output right and then we will, will run our example code this is directly from the uh, diffusers documentation so it's right here so it will be exactly here but i made some modifications so in order to save the output uh, video to our google drive so here and uh, so let's uh, take a, a quick run here and uh, let's uh, watch watch the monitoring on the right panel and we can see that it's downloading the models so here there's uh, one of the big uh, model file is about uh, three gigabytes and we can see the speed is quite uh, uh, high right it's about uh, the here's the 20 here's the 40 so it's about uh, 60 megabytes per second okay we can see here so 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 this uh, line is uh, doing the generating so there's also a progress bar 25 steps and on the right panel we can see that the ram usage gpu vram usage is about uh, 5.4 gigabytes of vram and uh, about 22 seconds so it just saved uh, to your google drive so this is the output so this is the directory and uh, the name of that so okay let's uh, go to our directory yeah uh so so here as you can see just uh, right now it's uh, created uh, the directory here and we, we can we can try to play it Yeah, I think it's a it's a look great, right? So the, uh, okay. Yeah. So, all right. So so I think that's a quick demo. Uh, yeah, feel free to make a copy of this notebook so you can run it by yourself. So for here, you can change your prompt right here. And. Uh, then you were like able to reproduce or create your own and uh, one more thing that uh, so so this video is quite uh, mm, quite small so it's about only a few seconds so if you want to create uh, longer ones so you can use the following recipe so let's uh, uh let's uh, do the same thing so here we we will give it uh, another name uh, okay
and uh, and you can see one difference is there's some optimization used to reduce the requirements for GPU memory. So so make it uh, available for like uh, 16 gigabytes of GPU. Already, let's uh, let's uh, let's take a look. Let's let's use the same prompt. And uh, press the play button. Yeah. And uh, let's uh, pay attention to our system monitoring on the right panel. And we can see here is a little uh, indicator here to indicate like which which row it's running at. So for here we do see that we are at the progress bar. So that's very critical. The speed is, uh, uh, if you compare the two, it's much like a, a little bit uh, slower. So I think it's because it's uh, long, like run like longer time, and. Uh, if you look at the GPU RAM, so it's almost uh, at uh, the full capacity. That's a little bit uh, worrying, but uh, I tried it yesterday. It uh, worked worked fine, so I think it should work fine this time too. Okay, so so here. After four minutes, we were able to see that uh, uh, our video has been successfully generated and uh, saved uh, to our Google Drive. Let's uh, take a uh, here. Yeah, we can do see that we have uh, another file has been created uh, in our Google Drive. So here, this one, the file size is 1.8 megabytes. Let's uh, double click to open it. It's uh, twenty five seconds right now. Yeah, we 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 see that it's uh, much longer, and uh, we see the motion. So I, th I think for longer video, we may need to uh, modify our prompt so to make it more interesting. So uh, yeah, feel free to try it. Yeah, I will, I will share the link uh, like uh, in the description so you are able to copy it and uh, modify to make it uh, your own videos. So let's uh, see. So one, once you, if you got my link, so you can do is on the file, you can save a copy in your own drive and then you can able to modify and run and uh, play with it. All right, so thanks everyone. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.